Imagine a stranger online. You don't know their name, you don't know where they live, and you've never even spoken to them. But within minutes, you can find their email, their photos, their workplace, even their exact location, all without hacking a single thing. Sounds like a movie, right? Well, welcome to the world of OSINT, open source intelligence. Today, I'm going to break down every major OSINT technique you need to know, from username hunting to face recognition, IP tracking, metadata extraction, Google dorks, and even secret telegram bots. By the end, you'll see how information online is like a giant puzzle and how skilled researchers can piece it together. Quick disclaimer before we dive in. Everything I'm about to show you is for educational purposes only. This is ethical hacking knowledge to make you more aware of your digital footprint and to protect yourself online. I'm not responsible for any misuse, so please use this responsibly. Let's start with one of the most underrated yet powerful OSINT skills, username search. Here's the thing. People reuse the same username everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, gaming sites, even old forums. With tools like Namek or What's My Name, you can plug in a username and instantly see everywhere that name exists online. Imagine someone has a unique username like DarkWolf92. A single search can reveal their Twitter profile, their Pinterest board, a GitHub repository, and even a decade-old blog they forgot existed. Each profile is a goldmine of personal details, hobbies, location clues, and sometimes even their real name. Next, face recognition. Upload a photo into a reverse image search tool like PimEyes or even Yandex images, and the internet becomes your detective. It scans millions of photos across websites to find matching faces. Why is this scary? Because even a casual group photo at a party could link you to your LinkedIn profile, an old school website, or an event page with your name. For OSINT investigators, this is like skipping 10 steps in finding someone's identity. For you, it's a reminder. Every photo you post is a potential breadcrumb. Now let's talk IP tracking. Your IP address is kind of like your home street address, but for the internet, OSINT tools can't just magically grab it. But if someone clicks on a specially crafted link, tools like Grabify can log the IP and reveal your city, ISP, and sometimes even your exact coordinates. Real world scenario? Imagine a scammer DMs you pretending to be tech support. You click their link and suddenly they have your location. Ethical hackers use this method to track cyber criminals, but it's also why you should never click suspicious links. Metadata is the hidden data inside files and photos. The stuff you don't see, but that tells a story. For example, a simple selfie might have GPS coordinates embedded in its EXIF data. Tools like EXIF tool can read that and pinpoint exactly where the photo was taken, sometimes down to the street corner. Journalists have exposed criminals this way and law enforcement has tracked fugitives. But here's the catch. Even your personal Word documents might contain the author name and company you work for. Next up, Google dorks. Think of Google as a giant library, but most people only know how to ask it simple questions. Ethical hackers use special search operators to dig deeper. For example, file type PDF site.gov finds PDF documents on government sites. Inerl admin might reveal login pages, confidential with quotes, searches for exact matches of sensitive terms. It's legal because you're just searching public information, but the amount of sensitive data lying in plain sight will shock you. And finally, Telegram bots, the secret OSINT weapon of 2025. Telegram isn't just for chatting. It's loaded with bots that can scrape public data, scan breach databases, or even monitor cryptocurrency transactions. Some bots can take a phone number and check if it's linked to multiple accounts. The most skilled OSINT pros use these bots like Swiss Army Knives, connecting multiple data points from different platforms into a single profile. So there you have it. Username tracking, face recognition, IP tracing, metadata, Google dorks, and Telegram bots. Each one is like a different lens, letting you see more of the digital picture. The scary truth? All of this uses publicly available information. No password cracking, no hacking into systems, which means anyone could do it, including people with bad intentions. The smart move? Audit your own digital footprint. Check where your username exists. Remove unnecessary personal photos. Strip metadata from files before sharing, and be mindful of what you post. Because in the world of OSINT, you're either the hunter or the hunted. Thanks for watching. And if you found this useful, share it so more people can protect themselves online.